Well, hand sanitizer isn't the easiest thing to get right now. We all know that, and chances are your local store is probably sold out. But believe it or not, you can make it yourself as long as you have one key ingredient alcohol. Lucky for one small business in Pennsylvania, they have plenty of it, and now they're using it to help those in need. Eight Oaks Distilleries in eastern Pennsylvania, like everywhere, was about to shut down and wait out the pandemic. Then its owner, Chad Butters, an Army vet and husband to a cancer survivor, saw another need for the main ingredient in hand sanitizer, alcohol. So what we're doing today is we have shift, shifted focus from making beverage alcohol products and put 100% of our resources towards making hand sanitizer for our community. The local cancer support group needed it, so did hospitals, emergency services, nearby towns and businesses that had to keep working. We're doing it because it's the right thing to do. As, as we uh, went through this process of, you know, just like everybody is trying to deal with this situation with coronavirus and everything that's going on around the world right now, uh, you try to gauge what it is that is the right thing to do and what's the right reaction. So appalled at reports of hoarding and price gouging, Eight Oaks stopped making vodka, gin and bourbon and cranked up the sanitizer. So we have the plant equipment, the processes and the people uh, and frankly the distribution system to a local degree uh, to produce this product and get it out to people that are in need of it. There's clearly a need. Just hours after hatching the plan, the first batch only a few hundred bottles. The requests, way more than they can fill. They were in desperate need for even more bottles. So we can scale this up 10 times, 100 times, 1,000 times this size. We have all the ingredients and alcohol needed to uh, produce it. Butters expects to churn out 10,000 bottles a week. Not only is he keeping his 25 employees working, but if it turns out right, he'll be hiring. One business, one community in rural Pennsylvania coming together in a time of need. Butter says he doesn't want to profit off of his sanitizer. In fact, he is giving it away for free. He's only asking for donations.